decided I needed a nice hand winch with lots of pulling power to replace a uh, boat winch setup I was using on my snowmobile. This is my attempt at building one out of a ratchet strap. It ends up uh, working really well, as you'll see by the end of it. This is a short version of the video. There's a longer version with lots more detail in it if you want to check that out, uh, also on my channel. So you can see I, I basically just took the uh, the, the end strap off and replaced it with that small one there. At this point, all I've done is remove the strap from the ratchet and replaced it with that small strap you see there now. So right in here on the edge, of course, both sides, uh, it's not hitting the teeth that I was talking to, but right here on this fixed place, you can see the cable rubs on that every time it goes by. So I don't think it would take very long for that to uh, cause abrasion. So as I just mentioned, the uh, synthetic winch cable was uh, in danger of fraying on the side, so I wanted to put a spacer in there that would allow it to slip by. This is my first attempt, and I'm uh, leaving it in here just because uh, it, it's a thorough uh, showing of how I did it. Later on, you'll see I replace it with some tougher plastic because this stuff did not uh, hold up at all to the first pull I did. So please, if you haven't, can you uh, hit that subscribe button it uh, really helps me out. I'm brand new on YouTube and every subscribe makes a big difference. You can see this little pin here. It's just a pin that's bent on both ends. So I just straightened out one of the ends over here. Let's see if that'll... Hopefully that's enough to... Oh yeah, there we go. Pin out. As I mentioned, this is a short version of the video. Um, the, the longer version has a lot more detail. So the basic idea behind this whole video is uh, to create the winch, as, as I said. Um, some of the parts you're seeing here are climbing gear. I've got some carabiners and that uh, little strap you see on the back of the winch. I end up uh, taking that off and putting the other strap back on because that strap slid back and forth too much, which caused the winch cable to rack uh, to one side. Of all these parts, the weakest one has a 5,000 pound braking strength, so this should be plenty strong for anything I'm going to be using it for. Hopefully this little pin doesn't break. Make another one of a nail or something if it does. Alright. Done. Back off. Okay, so it is binding off to one side still. I don't know why. So it's a little awkward to get the rope off the side, but it does move. Right, so I'm not putting very much force on this so far. As you can see, I can pull this with two fingers here at this point. Loading the truck up pretty well. Oh yeah. I think you could easily put 3,000 or so pounds on that without really trying very hard. I'm starting to lean into it a bit now. And I'm dragging my truck sideways. Now it's just the coma, so it's not the heaviest thing in the world. But yeah. That seems to work excellent. The 
you can see how much tension is on that it's holding me up it's all my weight which is 20 pounds more than it was before COVID. <laughs> all right let's take her off i'd say that's a roaring success my plastic did not last not surprising this is a bonus second pull uh, the only difference is I'm pulling the front of the truck and I've replaced that wimpy plastic with uh, a couple of cutouts I took from unused Tupperware. Much tougher. It worked really well and uh, held up perfectly. All right, let's see what we can do. Seems to be working well. Yeah, there I'm pulling the car backwards, so that's good. It's working. That worked really well. I'm really happy with this. It's uh, a lot more powerful than that little boat winch was. Um, more compact, lighter, easier to pack, doesn't have a handle sticking out of the side. Win, win, win all the way around. And if I decide to, for some reason, I can still put the strap back on it and use it as a normal ratchet strap. I haven't wrecked it in any way, shape, or form. The only thing I've changed is I've added these plastic pieces here just to buffer the rope, which did work quite well this time around. I'm going to call that one done. Um, success.